mammals evolved platelets in their circulating blood, a complete interventricular septum to separate the ventricle into left and right halves, which completely separates oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, the intrinsic conduction system included an AV node, and reorganization of some blood vessels. There were a number of changes which evolved in the mammalian muscular system. Some ancestral muscles were subdivided to form separate muscles, as in the pectoralis group. Some ancestral muscles were fused, such as the ones which fused to make the biceps brachii. And in the throat and face region, the subdivision of ancestral muscle sheets here would allow the great versatility that mammals possess for vocalizations and for facial expression. In the hundred million years in which synapsid reptiles evolved into mammals, many new changes in the nervous system evolved. This spinal cord was increased in size with modification to nerves and nuclei. The dorsal surface of the midbrain was separated into superior and inferior colliculi. The diencephalon increased in size and complexity. The cerebellum increased in size so much, and as all of these tracks from the cerebellum then expanded outwards, a region of the brain formed which only mammals have, known as the pons. The cerebrum was enormously expanded, forming a new region known as the neocortex, which only mammals possess. Mammals share much of the organization of their cerebral cortex, dividing it into four common lobes and perhaps two dozen separate cortices within the cerebral cortex, such as the visual cortex, the somatosensory cortex, the motor cortex. All of these are shared. Sensory systems were modified as well, including a great expansion in the number of genes for olfactory receptors. And so mammals share many common elements of their nervous systems. Mammals evolved true lymph nodes, valves in lymphatic vessels, and palatine and lingual tonsils. Duplications of ancestral antibody genes resulted in new classes of antibodies. The immune system expanded a number of other gene families as well. The ancestors of mammals evolved a number of changes to the integument. By the time of the late cynodonts, it appears that hair existed, and hair enabled the early mammals to thermoregulate. Modified sweat glands produced a fat, protein, and sugar-rich sweat uh, known as milk, and this provided the first source of nutrition for infant mammals. Sudoriferous and apocrine sweat glands evolved. Mammals evolved many other changes as well. In the endocrine system, the thyroid hormones enabled control over body temperature to allow endothermy. The hormone prolactin stimulated mammary cells to produce milk. In the respiratory system, many of the cartilages of the throat fused to form a larynx, and the diaphragm muscle allowed the lungs to expand further with each breath. In the urinary system, the mesonephrus was no longer functional after birth, and the loop of Henle enlarged. A number of features evolved in the reproductive system, such as the corpus luteum in females, the ability of the uterus to nourish the developing embryos, even through the eggshells of the monotremes, while in males, the bulbourethral glands a corpora spongiosum of the penis, and a glands and foreskin of the penis evolved.